Welcome to this video on adding menus to a graphical user interface. My name's Andy Wicks. Menus are just another widget in Python. You create a menu bar and add it to the window. You create the menus and add those to the menu bar. And finally, you add the menu items to the menus. Each of these can have a command option to say what's happened when it's clicked. Let me show you the program running. Here we have our application. The application just has a menu bar up the top here. And when I click on messages, which is one of the menu items, it has first message, a separator and second message. When I click on first message, it changes the label to you are a programmer. When I click on second message, it puts you have made this work into the message. The final item is exit and I bet you'll never guess what that does when I click it. The first things we need to do is to create the window, give it a title and configure its background. Then we can create the menu bar. So menu bar equals TK menu and we say where this menu bar is going to live. In this case it's going to live on the root that item right at the top. We can now move on and create the menu items themselves. The first line creates a menu which is part of the menu bar. Note the tear off equals zero option. Setting this to one and do try it would allow you to detach the menu from this particular menu bar and move it somewhere else. This is our newly created menu called message menu. The next step is to add commands to message menu. These are the item that the user sees in that drop down. You can either have a simple menu item such as message menu dot add command equals label first message command equals first message. This adds the item first message and asks Python politely to run a function called first message when it's clicked. The option command equals says which function to use when the user clicks on first message. The second type of item in a menu doesn't do anything. This is just a bar that can be placed somewhere in the drop down menu so that the user can distinguish between the different sets of commands. Having added the menu items we want, the final step as always is to add the shiny new menu to the menu bar. So menu bar dot add cascade adds a whole menu. The label option gives the name that the user sees for this menu and the menu option says which menu to add. Now let's have a look at the final menu item. Adding the exit menu is fairly easy. This menu doesn't have any drop down items. It just lets the user quit the program, close the main loop. We can therefore add cascade, add this menu item to the menu bar directly. The command here is a built in function called quit and when it sees quit it just bombs out. And the last thing we need to do is to have a look at the two functions that change the message we're setting a variable called msg to a particular string of text. We're then using that string to set the label message text to msg. In one case we're setting it to you are a programmer, in the other to you have made this work. And in this way we're getting those drop down menu items to do some work for us. We've got a functioning menu application. 